Good morning, pipe community. All the pipe smokers in the world, all my subscribers, appreciate you all. Love being a part of this community. I'm gonna show you guys my very first pipe creation. Made this all on my own, courtesy of uh, Gaw. I won from Stephen Roberts' channel. Thank you so much, brother. You sparked my inspiration to continue my pipe uh, making career. So here it is. I did some rustication on it. I really like Castello's, Moretti's, the bigger chamber, bigger bowl. So this one really inspired me to do something similar. I used my Dremel to do all the rustication and dawdling. This part I enjoyed the most. You can see the grain and the shine on this guy. Even got my insignia. Oh, upside down. Devious. I also named this pipe Dante's Inferno. Go along with the Devious Pipes theme. It's very nice. To answer Brutally Nuff's question, Chris, he asked me how I got the stummel shank meeting up with the uh, stem so nice. I don't really know how to answer that question. I just, I'm a very patient person when it comes to sanding. I've done much sanding in my furniture finishing career. I've sanded pianos, cabinetry, high-end cabinetry, high-end millwork, uh, the caliber of like Steinway pianos, etc. Black lacquer. So I have a lot of patience, great eye for detail. Uh, I think like chess, a couple steps ahead. So I kind of knew coming into these curves, if I just kind of went for it, I would lose the angle, lose the shape. I kind of wanted to keep it square with the shape of the bowl, but also to taper it to the cylinder part of the stem. I'm still polishing the stem up and getting this to me just perfect. It's pretty close. I think I did a fantastic job. I rounded the rim of the bowl, rounded the edge. I really like when bowls are rounded like that. But yeah, all by hand. No machinery at all. I only use my Dremel for the polishing wheel to buff up the wax. I used Paragon wax, coated it real nice and even, let it dry thoroughly, and then uh, buffed it real patient or real slow and took my time and I think I did okay on my first one here so there you guys go it's a clencher but it's not too bad the briar smells amazing it's got a real nice smell to it Bowl so smooth, sanded it up to about 400 grit. It's just amazing. So let's christen this pipe today, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, it's a special pipe for me. Wanted to do something like this for a long time. I've been having this uh, tobacco in my cellar for quite some time too, waiting for a special occasion. So. I think there's no better tobacco to christen my very first pipe that I created with my own hands than none other than McClellan's Anniversary 2002 with the red wax seal. 22 years old. I'm sure there's some drooling happening in the community right now. Beautiful stuff found this on a consignment site in Canada about two years ago. The site's no longer around with all the uh, regulations and whatnot, so I was very lucky to get this. Got it at a pretty good price, not too inflated. Uh, I won't share the price, but uh, it was less than three digits. <laughs> so let's crack this tin, pack this pipe, see how she smokes. You guys ready to pop this tin? <laughs> I'll 
show you the date. Looks like September 2001 maybe. If anyone uh, knows exactly, let me know. Beautiful can. Love the labeling of McClellan's. <laughs> All right, let's crack this. Oh yeah, that just shot up like a shotgun. go. I'll switch the camera get a better shot. That smell on this. Barbecue. Sweet. Sweet barbecue sauce. I can smell that ketchup background that a lot of people talk about with the McClellan's. Oh, it smells so amazing. Oh, moisture is really nice. I would say that's ready to go. You should see the crystals on this. It's just shimmering in the light here. Oh, amazing. All right, I'm gonna pack a bowl. Let's light it up, guys. All right, pipes packed, buddy. Oh, this is so exciting. Thanks for joining me with uh, my first light on my first pipe, everyone. Appreciate it. This McClellan's tobacco, wow, right off the bat. What a smooth draw on the pipe. Very nice. Doesn't feel hollow, if anyone knows what I mean. It, it's got a nice smooth pull, smooth draw. I don't feel like I'm fighting it. I don't feel like I'm sucking a bunch of air through. It's got a nice draw on it. I checked the drilling, it was pretty good. Almost a figure eight in the bowl. Pretty darn close. Let's give it another light after the char light. It's windy up here, so hang in there, guys. First smoke in the first devious pipe. Smoke's amazing. Stevie, number one, buddy.